again, fellow RC enthusiasts. It's your host, Tom Cogswell, and his hands for another Spectrum Quick Hit tutorial. Down here on the bench, we're gonna be talking about the Spectrum PC Programmer update that allows you to change the preset settings, the model presets on your new smart, safe, and AS3X enabled receivers. This includes the AR637, the TA version, and the T version, the AR631, the AR630, the AR8360T and the AR10360T, which we recently announced. Uh, so we've got a whole gamut of 10 to 6 channel receivers that all of these model file presets that you can download on our Spectrum file share uh, capabilities, uh, our file share drive rather, uh, I'll have a link to that in the description below, where you can download these files and transfer them to your AR637Ts. So why would you want to do this? One thing that is important with this is it allows you to take your receivers out of another model, let's say 637, a safe, smart receiver like this one, and put it into a plug-and-play model and use our presets for all of our bind-and-fly and plug-and-play plug models that we have presets for and put them on your uh, receiver, put it in your airplane, get it all set up, make sure everything's right, and go fly, just like as if it was a bind and fly aircraft. So what are the things you're gonna need to do this? First off, you're gonna need a Windows-based PC. If you're running a Mac, you might be able to use some sort of emulator. You can look into that. It's not something I'm an expert on, sorry guys. Uh, but you will need a Windows PC. It doesn't need to be anything powerful. Something just fairly rudimentary will work. And in, for most part, you will need the Spectrum USB cable. So this is the SPMA3065. The only caveat to that is that you would not need that for our new AR10360T and any other receiver that comes down the line that might have a USB port on it. Those are really cool because they have a micro USB port built right into it and you can plug it straight into your computer and it works just like the USB cable would. The third thing you're gonna need is the Spectrum PC Programmer. Version 3.6 or higher, I would say, is recommended. Just download the latest one. I'll have a link for that down in the description below. And install that onto your computer. So just click and run it, and you'll get this pop-up for yourself here. And then you can log in as yourself. There's a little login button at the top left corner. We've gone through this a couple times, so I'll have some videos on how to work around with it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You shouldn't have much trouble with it. And then lastly, you are gonna need a Spectrum Smart Receiver with AS3X and SAFE. I listed those off earlier. I also put this in the description below for you if you need to reference that. So let's go ahead and get started. So you see here, I have a whole gamut, a whole list of the smart, um, or of the model presets I already have imported on my computer. When you get this first booted up, you're not gonna see anything if you haven't used it before. But what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to our website and you wanna pull up our Spectrum RC file share public drive. Uh, I have a video on how to use this below, but we'll kind of briefly go over it here. You're gonna go to the Smart AS3X and Safe receiver presets here, and you're going to download the one of your choice. They are categorized by part number, so if you're not familiar with the part number, you can just kind of read the description. We've got the whole thing there. Each one's got a kind of a, you know, a brief description of what it is. For the most part, these are just bind and fly plain files. So if you bought like, uh, if you wanted to, or so let's say you bought the Viper 90 millimeter plug and play and you wanted to put your own receiver in it, you would download the Viper 90 millimeter bind and fly basic .srm file. To download that, you can either right click on the file or you can tap on the three dots in the top right corner and tap download. It'll download the file normally in the bottom left hand corner. If you're using other internet browsers, that might not be the case. Just kind of keep an eye out. Normally you'll get like a little pop up that shows you where it downloaded to and it'll go to your downloads folder. So speaking of the downloads folder, let's go to that. So in your downloads folder, that's where you'll find these files. And the best thing to do in my opinion is to drag and drop. So let's go ahead and just uh, make it so we can see both of these at the same time. So in my opinion, the best way to move files from one place to the other, so this is our downloads folder that I kind of put side by side to the Spectrum Programmer, is to drag and drop. So if I press and hold on this, or you can use your mouse, you can drag it, oh, drag and drop. 
Voila, there it is. So it'll just drag and drop it there. And now it is in your Spectrum programmer file. Next step, we're gonna plug in our USB cable. We're gonna plug it into our AR637TA that I have here. And like I said, this will work with any of them. You're gonna plug it into the bind prog port right there, okay? You're gonna set it down and you're gonna hit connect or power cable and connect at the top. If you're gonna have servo still plugged into this, do not use power cable. Just go ahead and plug a battery into it and don't use power cable, right? Just, just to kind of reiterate, it kind of tells you that here, but just make sure you guys know that. And you're gonna be uh, presented with this screen here most of the time. Uh, I would just go ahead and select show all. And then for this device, you can scroll through, it'll have a listing for what's it's already recognized to be on this device because it knows by the serial number. So you'll have this device. And then if you scroll down, you can select one of the ones that you drag and dropped into your selection. That's an easy way to do it. You could just use, use uh, you could hit use device settings or use computer settings. Use device settings, what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the settings that were already on the receiver and make a new file on your, your computer for it. Or use computer settings is gonna do essentially the same thing but backwards. So whatever's already selected, it's gonna save it to your, uh, your receiver. I like using this way where you can kind of select what you want. Let's just pretend we're gonna use the Mustang here. Use computer settings. And you'll have a copy. So you'll see that it made a copy for this model here for this receiver. If I wanted to select a different one, I would tap on it and hit select. There we go. It's made a copy of it for our receiver here. You can rename them however you like. You can hit edit and change some of the parameters there. You can give it a picture to help kind of identify it on your list. All right, so now that we have that selected, now that receiver file is on our AR637TA or the one that you had chosen to put this onto. And it's gonna be just like as if it came out of the bind and fly plane. What I mean by that is that the orientation is gonna be preset, the gains are gonna be preset, you can adjust the gains, the safe channel uh, you're gonna be able to set. It's gonna essentially be the same thing as if you had it bound to a bind and fly receiver that came out of the bind and fly model. One thing that I wanna note with you guys is if you do this and you're putting your own receiver in a plug and play plane, make sure that you have the receiver installed in the same orientation as the manual describes. So if you look at like the manual for the Carbon Cub SS that we are, we're using for the example here, you'll see that it's installed in this orientation and relative to the nose with the pins facing that way. It's important that you, you know, keep an eye on that. It's also important to follow the manual to change any settings that you may need to uh, accordingly, as, because at this point, you're using a bind and fly receiver with your transmitter. So whatever settings that we recommended for your transmitter settings, go ahead and use those. Another thing that you could do is download the model presets that we have on our file share drive for your radio for that model. That would make it easy as well. And then once you've got it all installed, everything's plugged in and uh, you've got it all powered on, check your control directions, make sure everything's working properly and then you're good to go. All right guys. That's it for this video. If you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Do keep in mind that things may change over time. I feel like this is probably a good solid way to do this, but if things change, we'll let you know in the description and comments below, and we may even come out with a new video for it. This is Tom signing off on this quick hit video. Thanks for watching and happy flying.